Guys, they said Oloru TikTok challenged KBAC big time. <laughs> when KBAC decided that uh, he is going to divorce all of these women for Naomi to return back because after all they have tried to see if they will be able to, to convince Queen Naomi and her family, they are still standing their ground that it is Queen Naomi's decision. And we all know that Queen Naomi does not want polygamy. Mm -hmm. So if KBAC must keep Queen Naomi, he will have to free all of these women, let them go. Even though that is going to be a very difficult decision. But at this point, the CKBAC is helpless and he is considering thinking in that direction as in saying that uh, he is going to divorce the women, but he has to start with Igbi and Blue Blue, you know. So with that information, they said KBAC have told the wives that they should prepare their mind. Okay, coupled with the fact that they said the elders from the Cyrilline house have decided to make them take an oath. And this time around, it's not the oath whereby they will go and use dollar and bribe the the fat priest who will take who will be in charge of the oath taking, because that is one thing they are very good at. With all the information we are hearing, or if the, all the information we are hearing is the truth, you know. So now there is this decision that KBC will divorce these women. He has to do that in order to save the throne, you know, because even the Puerto Rican Ifa priest that KBAC invited to the palace to pull the dark, uh, dark cloud in the palace have told KBAC that the only way out is for Queen Naomi to return back to the palace, that the gods are angry, that the only woman you presented to them as your wife, uh, is Queen Naomi, and right now they are not seeing Queen Naomi in your palace. And where she is, she is very, very angry. As in, her mind is not settled. She is angry that, and nobody will blame Queen Naomi if it is true that she is angry. Who will be in a marriage? You can't meet with your husband. You can't stay with your husband, all because of the fact that he likes women so much. Then. Give me my freedom. Let me go. No. It's as good as KBSU post Queen Naomi's life. And no woman in that situation will be very happy. Or will be happy moving around. And knowing everything that Olori Kalabashi did to her in that palace. Of which she know that KBSU have find out some of those things that she did to her. And yet KBSU went ahead and married her. And now she have a son for Kabyes. Who would be happy? Nobody. Nobody. And the more uh, Quenomi is angry, the more it hurts Kabyes because the gods, you know that one thing about people who are highly spiritual. You see Kabyes, Quenomi, they are spiritual beings. Kabyes is a traditionalist who believes so much in the activities of the gods. It's the same thing to Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi is a daughter of Zion who believes so much that every of her steps should be directed by God. When they are angry, eh, the God that that person serves is not going to keep quiet. I'm just telling you, when you are not that highly spiritual, sometimes you believe that, things, that the things that are happening is just nature and all of that. But when you are highly spiritual, there are some people that will tell you, don't make me angry, because if you make me angry, you're going to lose something. As long as that person's heart is pure, if you hurt that person, you are going to lose a lot. And I believe that Queen Naomi is in that category. She will not offend you. If you offend her, you must pay dearly. And that is why I keep saying that. You see, Olori Kalabash, she is going to pay for all the pain that she caused Queen Naomi in this marriage. So let's go back to the topic, which is uh, Olori TikTok challenging KBS. They say KBS, they when KBS told them that uh, he will be divorcing them. And he also told Olori TikTok to go back to her father's house and receive some training before returning. They said Olori TikTok opened her mouth, as in this her mouth, and told KBS that, look, you are just dreaming. That's... 
why they we are still single when when they have not when they don't have any strong link any connection when it was just marriage between you and them you could not even divorce them let alone now that they have children for you that you must be dreaming you know, that you cannot even achieve that then that is better that you don't try that is what they say she told Kabiesi. it's better that you did not try because no matter how you try, you are not going to succeed. That this is her last bus stop. They say she keep telling Kabiesi that his house is her last bus stop. So she shouldn't try to. But even if Kabiesi is your last bus stop, why not uh, put up your best behavior? That is my own. Because if all the information we are hearing about Oluru TikTok, how she behave abnormally, how she do things as if... Uh, nobody uh, can do anything to her. If that information is true, it simply means that at the end of the day, she might end up going to spend, uh, going to another place. Probably the palace might not be her last bus stop, like she is claiming. If her attitude is the way we are hearing it, and she refused to change. But the funny part of it is that they say Kabesi could not do anything when she uttered such statement. Because this is a big time challenge to Kabiesi. Telling Kabiesi that look, you cannot do it. You cannot even, don't even think about it. That you couldn't even do it when we don't have children for you, let alone now that we have children. Anyway, the thing is that I believe that they know Kabiesi in and out. They know him very much. And again, they are using something strong on him that gives them such confidence. Because whenever someone is speaking, from the tone of her voice, you will know that this person has something that is giving her this courage, this confidence, and all of that. But come to think of it, what she is saying is somehow true. Kabiasi could not divorce them when he had the opportunity to. Is it now that they have children? Whether it is Kabiasi who have the children or not, is it now that they have children with Kabiasi that Kabiasi would divorce them? That's the question. You know, so at this point, the best thing for KBC to do is to let Queen Naomi go. That is my own opinion. Then, if it is the will of God that this marriage will continue, let God do something that will make it to continue. Something that will marvel everyone. You know, let it not be by Queen Naomi's struggle or KBC struggle. You know, so that this Olor is too will know that Queen Naomi serve a living God. Anyway, one thing I know is that Queen uh, Naomi serve a miraculous God. And when the miracle will happen, how it will happen, nobody knows. We will just, let's just pray, we will all be alive to hear and witness it. The second BSC shared tears when uh, Oluru TikTok told her that he cannot do it. But the question is, if KBS cannot do it, why did he utter the, the word? That is why... He, he doesn't, he, he's not supposed to be speaking anyhow. He's not supposed to be talking anyhow. As a king, your words are supposed to be your bond. You know? Because when you talk and talk and talk and talk, you are not able to fulfill all of those things. When you say another thing sometimes, some people will say, ah, leave him, that is how he, onom he normally says. And at the end of the day, he cannot do it. That's the reason why uh, these second-handed wives who have the audacity to challenge KBS. It's a big time challenge. It is. And remember that uh, even uh, Blue Blue and Igbi, they have also told uh, uh, KBS's brother that KBS's decision of sending them out or of divorcing them, that that might be a decision he took and uh, he made while he was drunk, that he better come out of it. Imagine, they know Kabiesi in and out. Some people will say they don't, they don't see Kabiesi finish. <laughs> they don't see him finish. They know that he cannot do more than... Uh, 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 let me not just use that word now, but he cannot do anything. Let me put it that way. That is why you see him. You see them saying all sorts of things. And at the end of the day, Kabiesi will end up not doing it. So, guys, I don't know what to say at this point, seriously. They say Kabiesi, instead of taking action, he shed tears.
<laughs> Some people say Kabesi cannot cry. Kabesi cannot cry, but do you know what, how he is crying inside? He is human being, even though he is a king. He is human human being. It might not necessarily be crying like that. Don't forget that these are all alleged information. Bye. I love you.